What's up you guys? It's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys. So before I start this video I want to acknowledge this hair because so many of you guys have made comments about this hair. Uh, for those of you who don't know this hair is available on Allure96.com. This is the Caribbean curl pattern. Mine was a 26 inch but I ended up cutting it because it looked better shorter. Hair is super low maintenance. Today I didn't do anything to it. I literally rolled out of bed. Um, there's no, I didn't put any water, no, no type of product on this hair. This hair is beautiful. It does not shed. I can run my fingers through it. It's amazing hair. So for those of you who potentially are interested in this hair, uh, or wholesale or drop shipping with my company, you guys can head over to Allure 96 and read up on like our drop shipping program and wholesale program if interested. And then for those of you who just want to potentially purchase some hair, I do have a Mother's Day sale extended all the way to the 14th of May. So you have plenty of time to go ahead and grab you some hair uh, and bundle deals starting as low as $85. So don't sleep on it head over to allure 96 get your bundles get your mother auntie cousins girlfriends everyone gets hair so uh don't sleep on this special while it is in place this video is all about starting a hair company checklist i wanted to create this video just because uh there's many of you guys that for one want to start a business but for two majority of you guys are more so interested in starting a hair company or join, joining my dropship program and so forth so i wanted to make this video cater to you guys because i want you guys to have the most elevation you can have within this year and starting from the basics and working your way up is very important so starting so creating a little checklist for yourself and a plan for yourself will help you execute these things as you guys know, I have my notes right on my phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and look down so I can make sure I'm going in order with everything. Lastly, make sure you guys go join my Facebook group because there's tons of information and tons of knowledge is always getting thrown out there for you guys. And even if you guys have questions about starting a hair company or cosmetic line or something along the beauty industry this group will definitely benefit you just due to the fact that you can ask questions and receive answers so the first thing when it comes to starting a hair company checklist the first thing that you want to do and you want to keep in mind you want to have a clear mission and what i mean by that is you want to 100 percent understand what you're getting yourself into if you're starting a hair company you need to have at this point done so much research on hair companies so that you can understand exactly what you're signing up for because starting a hair company especially if this is something that you're genuinely serious about it is not a walk in the park there is millions probably not mil maybe millions millions of hair companies out there so you need to make sure you you understand why you're putting yourself or getting yourself into this industry so having a clear mission is going to be number one number two is a business name a business name is very important for one you need to make sure the name that you choose is available and there's tons of ways you can go about doing that you can go ahead and google it you can go to like government websites trademark websites and you know just go ahead and check to make sure that name is available that you choose make sure the name that you choose is simple but catchy at the same time and it'll definitely stand out that is very important so make sure you put a little note uh, next to this particular checklist uh, just to show that the more simple the name is the more easier it is to remember but but still make sure it's unique at the same time number three is a business logo so at this point you have your business name you have a clear understanding at why you're putting yourself or getting yourself into this business so the next thing would be a business logo logos are very important it's important to have a consistent logo so the logo that you choose make sure you stick with it make sure it's something that is timeless and you it can grow with you um it's 2019 for instance i created my logo allure 96 in 2016 17 I, one of those and it still looks amazing it still fits in with today's trends it still looks edgy it still looks girly and glitzy and things like that which is what my brand is all about so you definitely want to make sure that the logo that you choose is timeless and just because you purchased it in 2019 it'll still look good in 2025 so that is important 
Number four is going to be legal responsibility. So at this point, you need to get legal with your business. You need to figure out if you're going to do like a sole proprietorship or if you're going to do like a DBA, an LLC, an S corporation. There's tons of legal brackets that I do recommend you guys to continue to do your research on. Uh, but the most common is a DBA or an LLC. So at this point, that is what you need to figure out which one you want to go for and get the registration process in order. Number five is going to be a vendor. So at this point, you need to find a vendor. You need to find someone that is going to fulfill all of your requirements as a client. Uh, so you need to make sure that they have a quality product, their customer service is good, that you can contact them. You need to make sure that the communication is there and so forth. Uh, so if you guys are interested in partnering up with Allure 96 and joining our dropship program or wholesale program, definitely check the link in the description box. I will go ahead and, um, you know, tag the websites in there and the direct links in case you guys are interested in partnering up with Allure 96 as either a dropship member or a wholesale member. But after you find your vendor, we're going to move on to number six, which would be packaging. Packaging is very important. I just made a video all about packaging ye yesterday, so uh, I'll definitely tag that somewhere along this video so you guys can head over and figure out some cheaper methods you guys can use regarding packaging. But packaging is important, so just keep that in mind. Number seven is going to be pricing. So at this point, you guys need to figure out how you're going to price these products you have a vendor um you have your packaging and so forth so now it's time to figure out your pricing you need to figure out exactly how much you want to sell each product for and you need to make sure that you're making a profitable markup percentage um so definitely do your research with that don't just tack on any random numbers that look good to you definitely make sure you're you know, you're, you you have your pen and paper out. You're going over multiple different markup percentages and markup numbers and things of such uh, until you get the exact number that works best for you and your business regarding your priceless structure. The next one, number eight, is going to be your social media website and photo shoot. Now, I put all of those together just due to the fact that they're all just as important. You need to make sure you have your business social media accounts up and running that you're actively posting on them and then for your website you need to do the same you need to make sure you have a website up you need to make sure you have all of your prices on your website all of your inventory descript descriptions um, pictures you need to make sure you have all of that stuff on your website and of course in order to have pictures on your website I personally recommend you everyone to have a photo shoot photo shoots are very important stock images can only go so far stock images are only a hundred percent what's the word i'm looking for like a hundred percent useful when it comes to uh just showing the actual product so like on the product page those the, the on the product page the stock images are perfect but as far as like having just stock images all around your website your main image on your home page and things like that i don't necessarily think that is 100 percent appropriate long term uh it's okay it's in the beginning if that's something that you have to do but for longevity of your business i definitely do recommend you guys go ahead and uh, set up some form of a photo shoot either you're rocking your hair you have cousins rocking your hair you have a best friend you know models paid models whatever you your preference is but definitely make sure you have a photo shoot around this stage uh just because it will bring a lot of professionalism to your brand it will look good and it'll it'll show what your brand is geared around now, number nine is going to be demographic. So at this point, we've gotten through so much information. So at this particular checkpoint, it'll be demographics. You need to figure out who your target audience is. You need to figure out who you're selling to. Where are they located? Age range. Uh, you need to figure out what race they are and so much more. Um, and, and the reason this is important because this will help when it comes to your selling points this will help when it comes to those email marketings uh to see exactly who's purchased who who is potentially purchasing your product so for demographics make sure you're doing some research on them you can google what is demographics if you don't necessarily know what a demographics is and it, there's tons of articles about this particular topic because your target audience is important especially as a business owner because you need to figure out 
who is interested in your product, who's going to purchase your product, and who's going to consistently keep buying from you. So demographics are important. Do not sleep on demographics because there's no point in starting a business, spending all this money for a business, and then you have all this inventory, all this product, you're paying for a website fee every month, and no one's purchasing your product. So demographics are important, okay? So the last and final checkpoint would be number 10 and this is going to be launch sale i personally think that every company who starts a business have a little launch sale it doesn't have to be anything crazy where you're giving away free here buy one get one it doesn't have to be anything like that but definitely make sure you're having some sort of an eye-catching sale that'll draw people in so maybe something like 10 percent off or something like uh, with each order you get a free pair of lashes something along those lines um, you don't have to go overboard with it if you go overboard with it you might get a little more traction to your website uh, and orders but as long as you're having some form of a launch sale that is very important and that will get people in the door so I hope this little tin what would I call this like a 10 point checklist uh, for starting a hair company I hope this really works out for you guys you can also convert this into a different industry so like let's say it's not you don't want to you're not selling hair you can convert this checklist into cosmetics or you can convert this checklist into a boutique um you know a boutique industry so i hope this definitely helped you guys i love each and every one of you guys don't forget to go ahead and follow my instagram because i'm on instagram quite frequently i interact with a lot of you guys on instagram so definitely head over follow my instagram page and what else am i missing anything i don't think so and don't forget about the mother's day sale oh i didn't even tell you guys what the mother's day sale is the mother's day sale is uh any order over a hundred dollars you get twenty dollars off so don't sleep on it uh, like i said i do have bundle deals starting as low as 85 dollars as well so that's a plus but right now i'm literally sitting on my couch watching my baby boy <laughs> watching the incredibles and now i'm about to edit this video so i love you guys and i will see you guys later